Morning Bethlehem, glad that you are here in worship with us. It's going to be a great day. It's always a great day here in the Lord's house, and we're glad you're a part of it. Uh, if you're a senior lady, it's a better day for you because today is the lunch bunch, 1230 at the Rattlers uh, Cafe. If you want to be a part of that, never been before, I'm sure they will welcome you. Just meet them up there. Again, 1230 at Rattlers. Also this week, Stitch and Prayer is having their meeting uh, this Thursday, the 20th at 1 p.m. Uh, if you want to be a part of that, if you've thought about joining, they are always uh, welcoming to anybody that wants to be involved in uh, stitching and praying. So if you have an interest in that, uh, be there this Thursday. You know the Crossfire Fundraiser is coming up very, very soon, February 29th. Tickets are going quickly, so if you want to be part of that, you better grab them. And while you're out there buying them, sign up for the bake sale. We're starting today taking people who want to donate items for the bake sale, part of the fundraiser. So uh, go on out there, sign up, buy up. And uh, it's going to be a great event as it always is. It's also time for us to start thinking about what we do every year as we make sack lunches for the homeless shelter. Uh, if you've been a part of that, you know what's involved. And uh, we're starting to look for donations for things that go in the sack lunches, uh, bread, meat for us to, to make the sandwiches. So if you want to be a part of that, you start bringing stuff in on Sunday. And if you want more information about when we're going to make the sandwiches, you can check in the Connection Center. That's our current mission. And here's an update on all the rest of our missions from Mr. Mission himself, Tony Capitelli. Thank you, Rick. I am so grateful, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to be able to be here again this morning to share um, the results of the last half of 2019 missions here at Bethlehem. And I'm... Uh, I am blessed to be able to tell you that uh, with your hearts, uh, the giving has been tremendous and continues to be so in strengthening God's kingdom. Thank you for that. We'll go back to July of 2019. Uh, we had the Lutheran Comfort Dog Ministry here and uh, they were um, wonderful to bring Aaron again. And, uh, and as you know, uh, this, uh, this team of dogs and its, uh, it's uh, leaders um, reach out to people in need who are struggling with issues. And, and as we saw also in November when they came out a second time to comfort the people of Saugus High School and the community, um, it was a, a true blessing for them. And, and with your help in July, you helped raise $185 for that organization. Uh, in August, we were um, fortunate to have uh, Pastor Dominic Rifkin and his uh, two uh, assistants here to uh, share the ministry of Link LA with us and um, educated us on a lot, a lot of what they're doing there. And it's just a blessing uh, that they can reach a community that is in need of knowing Jesus Christ. And so thank you for being there for them as well. Uh, in September, uh, we had the Santa Cruz Valley Pregnancy Center walk. And with your generous donations, we raised $1,300 to help support that pregnancy center, which reaches out to, to the men and women who have unexpected pregnancies. And, and educate them on uh, the value of life. So thank you for that as well. In November, we, uh, we had the Zoe International Rescue Walk and throughout October you help support that and your giving and uh, this organization which helps uh, those um, women who are brought into the um, trafficking trade um, is, uh, is, is a blessing to them uh, in getting them out of that. The people who run that organization um, are so um, confident that they can help these, these girls and get them into a safe home. And uh, you helped raise over $800 for that uh, wonderful ministry as well. And we also had 10 members from our church uh, uh, join us in the walk that day, which was a real, really cool to do with them as well. Uh, there is a new uh, home uh, breaking ground out in Acton, and uh, it should be uh, a tremendous asset to that organization in getting ladies out of the Los Angeles area, which is a huge, huge uh, area of concern right now. Uh, on the 17th, uh, I mentioned earlier, we had uh, November 17th, we had the LCC Comfort Dogs again, um, and, uh, and Pastor Joe, as you know, and, and, and uh, these wonderful team of, uh, of people and families here at Bethlehem helped bring comfort and peace to a community that was, just went far and beyond. And we are so grateful for all of them and helping our community to be Saugus strong and to support that wonderful school. Uh, November 7th, we began our uh, uh, new Operation Gratitude push for, um, in, in place of the Gifts from the Heart. And uh, that carried us through December 4th, where this congregation helped raise enough uh, items, bring enough items to create 130 packets, which we call Patriot Kits. And those Patriot Kits went out to uh, uh, 
men and women soldiers who are on tour right now to assist them. So thank you for your support there. We also uh, gave them three huge boxes of other non-essential items that they can donate to, to them. And then also you contributed $500 in cash to help them and the shipping costs to get that product shipped overseas to them. So thank you for that as well. And looking forward, um, we are going to be uh, doing our national uh, youth gathering uh, auction and dinner fundraiser on February 29th. And there are still tickets for that. And we'd love to have you come and join us there to uh, support the youth here at Bethlehem and getting them to the next endeavor, the next national youth gathering, um, which will be uh, a touching example for what Christian love is all about. I know we have a son that went to it many, many years ago, and uh, he still talks about it today. Uh, on, in March, we are looking at doing a support program for the Santa Clarita Grocery, which is a, uh, a nonprofit organization that helps feed the homeless here, in, uh, or those who are just down and out as well, uh, who need uh, help uh, with food and other essential items. And so we're looking at March as being a, a gift giving time for that. So look for that to come soon. And then in, uh, in April, on April 4th, we have our wonderful Easter egg venture. So uh, get ready. Um, it's going to be a wonderful time here for the kiddos and the community and uh, drawing people closer to uh, what Easter is all about, the resurrection, which is a blessing in knowing that salvation is to come for all of us. Um, I am um, so grateful to be a part of this ministry and, uh, and knowing how God works through you to reach out to, com to a community uh, to me, and when I see it happen, it just uh, it touches me emotionally. And I want to give you thanks for doing that and uh, being friends, uh, most importantly. Um, I hope you have a tremendous and blessed service this morning. God bless you all.